Green Nuts Engineering, I'm Alan. As you can see, I'm not in the workshop today. I'm at the Clay Mills Victorian Pumping Station. And that's because today they're running some of the engines in steam. So let's go in and see what's going on. The pumping station is located two and a half miles north of Burton upon Trent and is built right next to the railway, which is useful if you need lots of coal delivered. There are two engine houses with the boiler room between. Each engine house holds two beam engines. The original drawings can be found on the wall in the canteen. We start our visit at the boiler house where you can still see the original tracks for delivering coal. The coal was unloaded from the wagons right next to the boilers. There are five Lancashire steam boilers The maximum steam pressure is set to 80 psi. Once it goes over that, the steam is released into the atmosphere. The pressure to run the engines is around 70 to 60 psi. The engines were installed in 1885 and were run up until 1962. Note the slots cut into the brick. When the engine was delivered, it was wider than the room it was supposed to fit into. The flywheel is 24 feet in diameter and weighs 24 tons. There are two beam engines in this house and next door a further two. The high pressure cylinder is on the left and the low pressure cylinder is on the right. Three engines were usually in use at one time, leaving one on standby. The culvert was dug from Burton-on-Trent to the pumping station, which is about two miles away. This would take waste from the breweries and sewage from the town, and would stop the effluent being released into the river Trent. The original lights in the engine house were run by gas. They were replaced later by electricity due to the possibility of explosion from the gases given off by the sewage.
This was before electricity was commonly in use, so they had to install a dynamo and an engine to produce the power. You can see the floors have perforated steel sheets. This is so you can talk to people from one floor to the other without having to run up and down the stairs and also you can make sure that people on duty have not fallen asleep. The beams are made from wrought iron plates riveted together and weigh 13 tonnes. The sewage was pumped for about two miles in underground pipes to the local farm where it was spread on the fields. We're now going into the workshop and there's a lot of background noise. The machines in the workshop are run off overhead belts. It's 27 foot, 26, 27 foot, and it's the only one in the country now, as far as I know. Um, it's when the site was derelict, it was cut up and scrapped. Uh, the, the original chuck and the face plates have been up the chimney there for him, for the old one. We could do it a lot faster than it's going, but it's ideal for this for, for demonstration. Yeah. Yeah. The engine is a vertical bottle frame um, engine made by the Birmingham Servo and all of them are by my line tapping and drive to your so this is a um, side of the Blacksmith shop.
The engine and dynamo units were built to produce power for the electric lighting. Here are a selection of steam engines that were used on site for various jobs. Although the Gina shops used for other things nowadays, it was originally used to make wooden patterns for casting spare parts from the steam engines and repairing joinery around the borough for the council. If you'd like to visit the pumping station, just check on the internet to find when it's next in steam and what days they're open. Oh well, that's it for today. Hope that was useful, hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you next time on Enots Engineering.